Are we are we front three football right now? We front three football. We right front now. three football. All we right, missing guys. our fucking what our number eight. Yeah, we're playing two two up top. We're playing two up top. Jake got a straight red. <laughs> He's not here today. He got a straight He's red. He fouled out. We're playing a we're playing a man down. <laughs> Park the goddamn bus. Um, yeah, but uh, welcome everybody to this podcast. God knows what we're going to talk about. Um, freestyle as usual. That that is our specialty. That is one hundred percent off the cuff. I want to start with oh, Jesus Christ. The World Cup qualifying. <laughs> I want to start with the South American table right now. Do you know what the table is currently? I've got no, I have no earthly idea. So right now we got Brazil is first. Brazil's first. All right. We got Argentina is second. Right. Six points back though. Six points. Well, yeah, yeah. Six yeah, points that makes back. Sense. That makes sense. Who's in third? Is it? Uh, it's not Uruguay. Is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it Colombia? Mm. Mm-hmm. Is it Paraguay? Mm. Mm-hmm. Damn. A team you wouldn't expect. Yeah, that's why I said Paraguay. <laughs> yeah, I know you said Paraguay. It's like before Chile. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't rate it's Chile. Ecuador. It's Ecuador. I mean, I, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Ecuador is <laughs> five wins, two draws, and five losses, and they're one point above Colombia and Uruguay. See, dude, this is what I'm talking about. I we've had this discussion before when people say things like South America is not competitive. You have you have no idea. You have no idea. Ecuador will take points off of you. Paraguay is arguably... I'm more scared of Paraguay than I am of Brazil. Like, if Argentina's playing them, 100%. That's always a good game. Yes. When you guys play them. It's incredible. Yeah. It's great. It was a- excellent in the Copa America. It yeah. was a good win for us, I'm pretty sure. And, and I mean, it's they, they don't care. They don't care who you are. They're going to play hard. And if they get... God forbid they get the, the home stadium advantage... It's not yep. fair. It's not fair. You catch Peru and Cusco, they're going to fucking take your head yeah. off. Yeah. Conmebol is so interesting because, like, Peru could lose to the U.S. Yeah. And then they could go and beat Spain. 100%. I mean, they're all over. They are such a wild card. They've been like that the past couple World Cups. Yeah. And just, I, I totally agree. I think the South American qualifying gets disrespected. I feel like maybe it's because it's not broadcasted as much it's here or, or like i don't yes. know what the issue is with I, that i think it's a uh, it's a Euro- european superiority complex really because yeah. um the infrastructure in europe is infinitely oh better. my gosh infinitely better and not to mention the players they play what a two and a half hour flight away from their yeah their uh home yeah. national training stadiums meanwhile luis suarez has to make what a 12 hour flight down to uruguay it's got to be terrible yeah especially exhausting. when you get up there can you imagine like, like Cavani's 34 35 yeah. now yeah that's got to be hell on that dude's body it after is, he played a home match it is an United. issue that precipitates into literally every single competition which is like these african teams even these asian teams the mm. south american teams they have to they have so many like fewer reps in training and yes. in practice because you know, Harry Kane, when, when it's time to go train for England, he drives 30 minutes away from his house. Yeah. Like you said, Messi's got to get on a flight, on a jet. Yeah. 12-hour flight. And these boys will do it. Yeah. It's, it's just like Romero and They touch down, and have a mate really quick so that yeah. their brain, like, you know, re, <laughs> reconfigures to the climate. And they're they're in training. They'll do it, but I, it's 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 hell on them. And yeah. uh, not to mention, you know, there's corruption rampant all throughout Europe and South America and just soccer in general. Yeah. but. I mean, it's it just feels football and corruption. It's peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter. And it really jelly. just it, they go together. Like, Without the corruption, it's not nearly as exciting. no, no, no. I'm, it's um, a match made in heaven. It really me. is. But in South America, it just it just ravages the clubs for whatever reason. Argentina, La Scaloneta, and all that they they're finding their their pace, you know. But up until you know the beginning of these World Cup qualifiers, when Argentina did drop six points behind Brazil or what have you. Uh, uh, the, the organization, the AFA, AFA was just trash. It was garbage. It was garbage. It's just corrupt and and rampant. I remember mm-hmm. a few years ago, like Messi, you know, he retired however many times from the national team, and it's not because they lose. It's not because of this. It's because freaking flights would get canceled. They would book the wrong flights, you know, last minute, and and schedule the wrong buses so that you know these guys are just sitting in hotels. And he's like, I have a week off from Barcelona training to play these fucking yeah. matches for you guys. Yeah. You cannot misschedule this. Yeah. 
this is my money. This is the the country now. Now we look like assholes because we're late to this game, you know, in Bolivia or yeah. something. Like, yeah. if Bolivia can get their shit together, yeah. we can. Yeah, exactly. You got to think that it was more an overall emotional state of despair, yes. not just at the performance of the team and the fact that they kept losing in the finals. Yeah. But also, he's looking around at the infrastructure, and he's probably feeling, just thinking, like, this is a shit show. Yeah. And this that, is an absolute shit show. That's why we get such a bad rap in Europe. I mean, if, if you ask me, like, we will drop these games because we're not prepared, or the guys aren't galvanized, or, or uh, you know, the, the just headspace is incorrect because we're focused on, yeah. on other things. And I say that for South America as a whole, you know? Oh, I think, uh, can I throw Mexico into that ring? Yeah. I think if yeah, we 100%. did a video... I think if we had a tournament, who's the most corrupt federation in the <laughs> Americas? I think Mexico, I mean, they could give Argentina and, and Brazil a run for their money. I'm yeah. not saying they are, but I mean, it's, I feel like it's just a, a problem everywhere. And, and you it, quantify that 15 yeah, bribes exactly, taken exactly, in Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and it's like, even in the U.S., we have that problem. Yeah. I just don't think it's talked about as much. No, no. Because it's like a different type of like corrupt elitism yeah as opposed to what it is in mexico where it's just like money 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 we don't want any players leaving yada yada yeah. i but. mean honestly it's almost more like honest corruption in like uh i guess for mexico and, and south america because you know what's going on yeah. like if you watch these fucking games like the super classico that Boca and river do you're like oh, i yeah. i know there's crime happening here and they don't care it's out there but like yeah. you know that's happening in europe because there's money to be made there so it's happening it's yeah. just you, you don't see it yeah they have you the decency i guess it, or maybe maybe it's not decency yeah to hide it yes well yeah. they focus on the infrastructure first because yeah. they want they're like we want to produce the highest quality yeah. soccer yeah it it's incredible that South America is as competitive as they are given yeah. the infrastructure. Because I told you, when I was in Ecuador, mm. I mean, my high school soccer field was nicer than the fields that the Ecuadorian first division was playing on. Yeah. I mean, there were there were dirt patches. Sometimes an entire corner flag had no grass. It was just dirt. Wow. The keeper, you know, the keeper boxes, I'm sure from people just diving around, all dirt. Yeah. No grass whatsoever. Stadiums look like they're from the 60s. They probably are from yeah, the 60s. Yeah, probably from the 60s. I mean, it was it was ridiculous. And, you know, and, and still, despite that, you got teams, you know, balling out. Brazil's won titles. Argentina's won titles. Uruguay. I mean, it's they've crazy. Got, yeah, no, they've got some. They beat Argentina I, for a couple of them. I would actually be really happy if Ecuador pulled it out and they, they qualified. Oh, that would be Cup. fantastic. That would be sick. That'd right be now, exciting. Peru is... Second to last. Yeah, no, Peru. They're having a tough quote. Peru, I but. had really high expectations for Peru. Um, they've got a really great... Uh, you know what? Peru probably, for my money, has... Uh, and this is ironic, but I think they've got the best infrastructure in... Uh, or at least the best coaching system in uh, the coach South is American good. soccer. Gareca? He's, oh, my... He, he is a perennial talent he there. He is good. He keeps them... I If not consistent, he keeps them on track. You know, and the country loves him. The people love him. I even love him, and I'm biased because he's Argentine. But I, he's he's got a great system there, and they like him. They're scared of him, and uh, yeah, you need and, yeah. you need he a keeps bit of fear. Him competitive. Yeah. Do you remember the last Copa America when they made it to the finals? Yes. That was fun. That was so much fun. Dude, that when was they, so much fun. When they would play Brazil, those were battles. Those were battles. I mean, yeah. Brazil was scared. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. They you were cannot. they were clinging. To their lead for yeah. dear life. Dude, if Ecuador or, or whoever qualifies, you know, uh, uh, for the World Cup comes in, they're going to scare people. They're going to scare yeah. people. Oh, it's I could, be I a could see Ecuador situation blitzing in this World Cup. Yeah. 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. No, Italy's going to be up on their high horse or France or England. Yeah. You don't respect these small countries, yeah. and they do not care. Yeah. They do not care. They're going to say, oh, look, we've got a Chilean referee. Game on. Yeah. Game on. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. I'm not afraid. Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if Peru went up to Warsaw and blitzed the Polish four nil. Yes, and, it know, can it happen. Just, it's, it's very possible. You know, wouldn't be the first blitzkrieg. Anyways, <laughs> um, 